Hello and welcome to Jumia University. In today's video, we will be looking at how to manage your products. Once you create new products on Jumia, the products need to be QC'd or go through a quality check process in order to make sure that the products match the specifications or standards set by Jumia before they can be live on the Jumia website. After adding products to your store, simply log on to your seller center and come to your dashboard. On the green tab of your dashboard, you should see new products creation in the last 14 days and any pending products will be captured here. Once your product is approved, it should show up under approved products. If your product is rejected for any reason, your products would either be captured under rejected products, poor quality or rejected products, image missing. Rejected products, image missing simply means you have submitted some products with missing images. So you need to go and supply the images in the product details for the products to be approved. Rejected products, poor quality is not making reference to the quality of the product, but the quality of the content that you have provided. Perhaps there may be an issue with the product formatting or the product details formatting rather, or any other information that you have provided may not be matching the specifications or the requirements set by Jumia. To rectify this problem, simply click on rejected products to see the list of products that have been rejected. You will see the quality control comment, which would specify what exactly is wrong with the product so that you can fix it and the product can go live. We see here in this first product, the highlights are wrong. It says the key features does not match the item. So all this vendor needs to do is make sure that they click on edit, go to edit details to see the product information and make sure that the product description matches the highlights, the image and the product name. We see here also in this example that this product was automatically rejected because the product has a low content score. As you create a product, you will see the content score displayed in a circle on the top right hand corner. Simply make sure that at the end of the day, you have a content score greater than 55 in order for your product to have a chance of being approved. If your product content score is less than 55, it will automatically be rejected. Some of the common reasons for rejection are wrong highlights, wrong color, not matching the product title, or the description and the highlights not being in bullet points, FDA approval required, among others. Whatever the issue is with your product, simply come here, read the quality control comment to know what is wrong with the product details, and you can go ahead to fix it for that product to be approved. Now, once your products are approved, you should see them here under products, manage products. This will show you all the products that you have created in your store. From here, you can manage every single product that you have added. Under the product overview, we see the links that show us only products that are live, only products with their image missing, only products that were rejected due to poor quality, only the products that are sold out, only our best-selling products, and others. We see here that each product's name is displayed, the product SKU, the date the product was created, the price, sale price, subsidized price, the number available, whether the product is visible or not, the active column, and the actions column. Any product that is currently live or visible on the website will have a green check mark just as we see here in the video. Anything other than a green check mark indicates that the product is currently not visible or not live on the website. 
simply click on the red cross or the green check mark with the caution sign as seen here to see what exactly is preventing the product from going live. When we click here, we see a list of criteria that each product needs to meet in order to be visible on the website. For this product, we can see that the product quality has not been approved, images not uploaded, and the latest version of the product not uploaded to shop. This indicates that the product has not yet been QC'd or the product failed QC. So the vendor needs to go into the product details, edit the product details, and then make sure that they meet the specifications for them to be approved. Here under the price column is the price of the product, including the Jumia charges. The sale price is a discount price that you set as a vendor should you choose to offer a discount on your product. Please note that the sale price or the discount price should also include the Jumia charges. You as a vendor have full control over your price and your sale price. Once you set your price, you can choose to set a sale price simply by clicking here and setting the sale price that you wish or the discount price that you wish to offer to customers. Once you set your sale or your discount price, click on the image here to set your start date and the end date for the discount. Once I set the start date here as 17th August and the end date as 31st August and click on apply, the date range is displayed here. Now all I need to do is click on save for the discount to be saved. Please note that any discount price or sale price that you set will only be active for the period that you specify. Next is the subsidized price. The subsidized price is only set when Jumia applies a subsidy to your product. We do apply subsidies to products that we feel have a good selling potential and want to attract customer attention to increase sales for. So if you do not see a subsidized price set for your product, do not worry. But if you do see a subsidized price set for your product, please do not edit any of your prices. This means that we are offering this product at this price to customers. But when a customer purchases at this product, we will reimburse you whatever amount we subsidized the product by. Next is the available column. This column shows how many pieces or how many units of the product you have available to supply. Please make sure that this number always shows what you currently have available to supply. If you are selling these products offline or in a physical shop or on any other platform, please make it a daily habit to edit the number available here so that it conforms to what you actually currently have available. This will prevent you from having unnecessary cancellations which would eventually affect your seller score. Always make sure that we are promising to provide customers with products that you actually have available to supply. Finally, we have the active column here. Using this column, you as a vendor can activate or deactivate any product at any time that you choose. So for instance, if I should deactivate this product now, the product goes off and is no longer visible on the website. Should I choose, I could click on the button again to activate the product and it becomes visible for customers to see. This is how you manage your products on your seller center. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the vendor training manager for assistance. And if you have any problems, make sure that you raise a claim by clicking on contact vendor support for our vendor support team to help you to resolve them. Thank you so much for watching this training video. As always, it's been a pleasure having you. See you in the next video. Bye.